Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. So for some reason I missed the intro of my Carly Bible, my Alchemist holographic palette from Kat Von D and using the Lucent silicone sponge. So I've got kind of like three things happening in the video all at once and for some reason my intro didn't save or I didn't hit the record button. So in this video, you are going to see me use the Lucent Silicone Makeup Applicator Sponge. Okay, so I'm already going to give you a hint. On a scale of 1 to 10, I give it a 2. You're going to see in the video, I go to put on my foundation. And what was really interesting about this is I never thought I had a lot of pores until I use this thing. And it tells you to use it in a round motion, but it seemed to put the makeup on top of the skin and all of a sudden I saw I had pores. Um, it was horrible. So I only used this once. I'm not gonna use it again. I don't like how it put on my makeup. So um, that was an ultimate fail for me. And you're gonna see that in the video. So as far as the eye look went, um, I tried to use the, I didn't just try, I used the Carly Bible palette by BH Cosmetics. Look at this palette. Oh my god, the colors are absolutely amazing. If you like neutrals, they're stunning. They've got some mattes. They've got a light shimmer, which the light shimmer is nice to use instead of a full-on glow for your eyes. I mean, this palette is phenomenal. The downside for me, it wasn't pigmented enough. So I think if you like an eyeshadow that's not heavily pigmented, this one is for you. Or this could be a great starter palette for someone that is trying to learn and play with colors. Not that I'm still not learning. But for someone that, that likes a lighter look on the eye and the pigmented palettes are just too much for you, you're going to love this Carly Bible palette. For me, I just wish that they would have been more pigmented, I guess. Um, so it was just kind of a little bit of a bummer. But I liked it on a scale of 1 to 10. It was fun to play with. Probably the mid-range. Would I repurchase it again? Mm -mm. No, I'm, that's not on my repurchase list. However, let's get to Kat Von D, the Alchemist Holographic Palette. So this thing is absolutely beautiful. Number one, I like the packaging because it's different. It's beautiful. It's white. It's, uh, her packaging is amazing. So there is a mirror inside. The mirror is great. The, the colors in this holographic palette are stunning. So even though they don't, they kind of in the palette all look like they resemble one another, they don't. So I'm going to do a quick swatch again because this is in some of my other, one of my other videos. But look at these colors when you start actually using them. So that's when they pop big time. So they, well, in the palette, they kind of, they look all right. Actually on the skin, stunning. So if you only went by what the palette looked like, you might miss out on this purchase. But when you see what they do on the skin, that's where you go, oh my God, this is a must have. So out of the three items that I used today in the video, this is a must have. Like, I don't know, I can see myself repurchasing this over and over and over again. The colors are just phenomenal. Do not get sidetracked with how they look in the pan because how they look in the pan does not look like they how they do on the skin and you're gonna see that in the video. So in this video I had three products. One was a never, one was an okay, and one was an absolute must have. Please go out and purchase. You need this in your arsenal. So I hope you enjoy this upcoming video. Stay tuned. Okay, this morning we're going to start out with our Scandinavia, the Makeup Primer Spray and Oil Control. It's my favorite primer spray while in a rush. Okay, we're going to try this little Lucent sponge. It is a silicone makeup applicator. And you can't really see this, but it does say Lucent Sponge Silicone Makeup Applicator. Cracking myself up already. It says directions apply a small amount of makeup directly to the silicone, silicone, silicone sponge using soft circular motions to blend the makeup onto the skin. Do not use a punctured. Hmm. 
Simply clean with this simply clean the sponge with warm water and soap. So let's see how this little silicone sponge from Lucent goes. I'm going to use our Chanel. Um, and I guess it doesn't matter what side. We'll use the top side. I'm just going to squirt a couple squirts. And okay. And it did say circular motions. I guess you use the edge to get into the little cracks and crevices. I don't know. We will find out. Because as you can see, if you don't use the cracks and crevices, you can't get in, or the edges, you can't get in the cracks and crevices. I feel like I'm pressing harder on my face to put this on and <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Um, I just think that this seems to be harder for me to work with. I may need to practice a little bit maybe. I don't like how it works around my nose. And I guess my eyes, I just need to do something else. Um, actually find this harder to use than say a brush and it doesn't fill in my chin very well where I've got pores you can see that it just glides over the pores and it glides over my wrinkles so I'm gonna finish this up with a brush and fill in all those little areas Now I'm feeling a little bit normal. Okay, the brush helped fill in all those spots much better. Well, okay, we got to learn how that worked, didn't we? Okay, so today we are going to use the Carly Bible and the Kat Von D Alchemist Holographic Palette to create a look. What look that is, we don't know. I did like the Carly Bible Palette, um, mostly because of all of its beautiful kind of um, colors. It, they're just nice and neutral, and that's kind of the Carly standard eye look. So. Although I'm not as gifted as Carly, we're going to have some fun. Okay, as always, we like to start. It'd help if I had the right brush on the right side. Looks like I already need a coffee break. It is nice being home from Dallas because my husband spoils me. All right, we're going to use a nice neutral color all over the lid to blend off of and to make sure that our eye colors do not stick. I've already prepped and primed using the Painterly Paint Pot or the Soft Ochre. I always get those confused. I use them interchangeably. I do not like one over the other. Wow, how is that for a little intro? So now we're going to start building some colors 
And we'll start out with this middle one here that all of these seem to be nameless. It's okay. We can deal with nameless. We can deal with nameless. So I'm going to take this from the crease and move it up to the eyebrow, but not going all the way to the eyebrow. All right, so I'm gonna get a little bit finer of a brush, or maybe more stiff, I should say. I'm gonna use this one here. We're just gonna go up the color palette, and we're gonna move this one into the crease. And I just keep moving to a finer brush. This is a defined crease brush. And we're going to go to this color here, which is a kind of a fuchsia. And we're going to work that into the crease also. Going back with the first color we used, we're going to go and blend those three colors together. And we're just layering. I'm going to use a flat brush and this dark brown here. I'm going to come in with a fluffy brush and just kind of blend that. Using another flat brush, I'm going to go with this color here. I'm going to go back in with the brown, try to deepen that up a little bit. Going back in, I'm actually going to step it up to this gold here and maybe this color here. a little warmer. Then I'm going to mix on that crease brush a little bit of both of these. We're going to go back in with this lighter color here and touch up underneath the eyebrow bone. Now we will use the pure fully charged mascara. And you must say it like that, fully charged mascara. We're going to use the Ultra Liner Waterproof in Brown by Maybelline. I love my upper liner. I can't believe I almost, like, not did it. I usually wipe off a little bit if I'm going to start closer to the inner corner. And work my way down. I'm 
We've just done a little fine wing. Okay, so one of the things when I do do a big smoky eye that I like to do, do 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 when you do what you do when you do, um, is tilt my head back. When I tilt my head back, I can see better. Having my head this way is fine, but when I tilt my head back, I can see where I need to sweep away some of the excess, and that just helps me. Um, some people can do it straight on. I just find tilting my head back, I see it at a different angle, and that helps me clean up a little bit better. So now that that's all cleaned up, we're going to use my Makeup Geek Contour Palette. I'm going to use one of the blushes I got on Cyber Monday. You guys will probably be hearing me talk about Cyber Monday until the next Cyber Monday. This one's from Tarte. It's called Unstoppable. And we're just going to highlight the apples. And them apples got highlighted. Oh, man. You may want to tone that down a bit. Unstoppable was unstoppable. That looks pretty. So I'm going to use the plush matte from Makeup Geek. And I love these because you can just kind of figure out mm, mm, what lipstick you want to go with. We're going to go with Marriage Material. And I really like those, just saying. They go on easy. Easy for me, so if they go on easy for me, they've got to go on easy for everyone else because I'm challenged on so many levels. Okay, so to finish up our look, we are going to use the Kat Von D Alchemist Holographic Palette. So this is a face and eye highlighting palette. It's got some beautiful colors here, and so um, we've got the green emerald, we have the blue sapphire, we have the ultraviolet amethyst, and we have the pink opal. So those give you kind of an idea of what these look like, which are absolutely unbelievable. So a couple things you can do with them is, um, and I'm trying to decide which color I want to do this with, maybe the ultra violet, is if you have a matte lip and you want to spice it up, using this it just spiced up the lip. Now, of course, we can use this as a highlighter, so let me get a clean brush. And I think for this look, since we just used the emerald, um, we're going to use the pink opal here. And, oh my god, look at that. Wow, those are beautiful. 
absolutely beautiful. So that gives you kind of a couple different things that you can do, or you can of course sweep them up underneath your eyebrow bone. But I love the holographic look. Those are absolutely beautiful. Um, I'm going to do another swatch test against um, some other holographic highlighters so that you can see what they look like against um, their competitors. But for right now, for this look, the Carly Bible Slash Kat Von D Alchemist look, I think this came out pretty good. And I hope you like it also. So 